April 4th, 2015, International Soccer comes back to St. Louis. It's the first time a national team, United States national team, has been to the Bush Stadium. Normally it's opening day. This time around we're talking the U.S. national women's soccer team as they take on New Zealand. 35,817 fans here at Bush Stadium, the largest standalone women's crowd for a friendly in history. Oh yeah, this is real. You can hear it. You can feel the excitement in the stadium. And that's what happens when a World Cup is right around the corner. Anytime you can put that jersey on for a hundred times, it's pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Congrats, we'll celebrate next game. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, that's a huge milestone. Okay. All right, hey, fantastic freaking crowd. Come out the gates with fire. Be strong and determined in the final third. Let's get lots of freaking goals today. Qualifiers, the Algarve Cup. Now we're two months away. This is this is real. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. And they're gonna feel all this pressure is start to ramp up, and now's the time for them to put those final pieces of the puzzle together for them to peak in June. Some scene here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. This place, a phenomenal crowd on hand. Tons of red, white, and blue. Krieger crosses. Klingenberg takes the shot. Yes! It was coming. The U.S. was knocking on the door. Another shot opportunity. Pino looking for Rodriguez. Rodriguez the ball off the post. Wow! What a ball and what a volley. That is not easy to do. To back off the short corner. The shot runs. Lori Kolubny, the St. Louis girl, with the goal here in St. Louis. If you want to score for the United States, maybe you should play in the back line. Megan Klingenberg, <laughs> Lori Kolubny doing the job of the forwards today. Another free kick coming up here for the United States. The header by Johnson. Julie Johnson makes it 3 0 the United States. And what you say, if you want to score, you better be on defense. What a finish by Johnston. A turnover. LaRue, plenty of numbers. The shot off the post and in. Morgan Bryan makes it 4 0. How about that for one of your first touches of the match? And there is the final whistle. Klingenberg put the U.S. up 1-0 with that goal. They didn't score again until the 75th minute. Kolopny with the goal. 78th minute, Johnston with the goal. 81st minute, Bryan with the goal. All of a sudden, the floodgates just opened. You know, it's not just about scoring goals. I thought we created chances. I thought players coming in off the bench, uh, you know, boosted us and helped us. So overall, a lot of positives. I'm pleased because New Zealand is a quality team, and, and you know, they like to pressure us. and. Uh, so I'm you know, really pleased with a good result against a World Cup team. And I'm going to ask Lori before anyone else does, what was it like to score in front of your, your home fans in, in that larger crowd? Um, oh gosh, I don't even, I don't even know. Um, I, I mean, I couldn't believe it, <laughs> kind of. Uh, a, little bit, uh, a little bit of a crazy feeling, but I mean, just absolute joy. I mean, just to, to be here playing on Bush Stadium, um, it, playing in St. Louis in front of friends and family is enough. <laughs> then to score a goal is pretty, pretty amazing. I uh, feel like I'm living in a dream a little bit. St. Louis was absolutely amazing going to the World Cup, knowing that we have this support at home, and then you know Canada's just that close. Um, it's really exciting, you know, just for women's soccer in general with our World Cup coming up. I think today was a really good test for us, and I think we did really, really well. I think the attack really was fluid and really connected, and. Um, so I think we're really on our way, and I think we've got a great shot at winning the World Cup. The 35,817 will head home happy from Bush Stadium as the United States wins this one over New Zealand for nothing.